Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a glass elephant. So, let's begin. I am going to turn on my torch. I'm going to heat up my rod in the middle. I use this for a couple reasons. One, I feel like I have more control than melting two rods together. And I also feel like I have a lot of room for my hands to be away from the fire. You might be at shocked at this, but I don't like touching the flames. LOL. So, you can see how it's starting to melt. I'm going to do this for a little bit longer until I feel like there's enough glass to start working on making the elephant's body. Just going to keep on. And right now I'm going to be turning the rods at one side of the rod another way and the other side of the rod another way. And you can see how it's starting to form a lot more glass. Well, melt down glass into that area. And I'm keep going to keep on doing that until I feel like it's a necessary amount of glass to start working on, well, to finish this. Oh, and I also wanted to thank the people who checked out my um, Facebook page. It was pretty, it was pretty cool how my um, views on my um, last animals grew from 30 to 40 to almost 90. The last time I checked, it was like 86 people for most of the pictures. So I wanted to thank the people. I also wanted to thank the people who went to my YouTube channel and subscribed liked or even um, just views. I also want you to thank the people who commented. It just means a lot. Now, the elephant is kind of a huge, huge um, glass body because one of the reasons why I make the body so much huger, huge, 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 well, you know, that one word, is because the head actually takes up a lot of space. So I try making a... So I have to add the big ears and then the chunk. Now, I'm going to let the body cool. And then I'm going to heat up the side of the rod where I'm going to soon start working on the head. I'm going to just work on the leg spurts just because I find it more easier to make the head. So to make the legs, they're pretty simple actually. I'm just going to heat up this. Well, I'm going to heat up the body and then I'm going to heat up this rod, which I'm going to be using as legs. I'm going to start here. And then I'm going to let gravity do its thing and just let it pull down. Oh, and I don't know if um, I uh, said this in the other videos, but um, I know over the time I started GLAT that people asked where um, I learned how to do it. 
I learned probably like 30 or 40 percent from YouTube. And then the rest kind of was from failures and successes. I'll go back to it by um, heating up the rod, well, heating up the legs, and then I'm get my graph back. Um, graph like pad out where I can um, smooth the legs and make sure it can stand. I see that's going to become the problem. I'm going to get that up. Yep, that one. And then for the last one. And now I'm going to get out my grass leg pad and heat up the top part of the legs. And uh, smudge it down. Yeah, that looks good to me. And you have to remember too that um the head is going to take up some space too, so now I'm going to heat up this rod. I'm going to start out on making a head. Oh, and if you have any other thoughts for another um, type of glass animal, you can just write in the comment of the video and I'll totally get back to it. One of the main reasons why I'm making the elephant is because I accidentally said it last time in my last video. Which I still don't understand because this is an elephant and I was talking about an octopus. So. I'm just going to keep on doing this. Going back and forth. And then I'm going to add my trunk. When doing doing glass, make sure to be creative. Add your own special touch to it. Now, if you're not familiar with these type of rods, they're um, thin detail rods I also mentioned in my last video. They're just smaller and I'm able to do like eyes and whatnot. And I'm going to add a um, 3D effect to it by adding this um, blue rod to it. which I'm going to have my eyes. Now, I'm going to start out on making the ears.
the ears, in my personal thought, are usually the hardest because you want that right size and go along with the elephant. And you don't want it too heavy where the head will be too top heavy and where it will just fall. So when making this, it's a lot about gravity and how it's going to turn out. I'm just going to add the ear. And I'm not going to just leave it like this. I'm going to reheat it up. And I'm going to flatten it out with my special pliers. Well, you know what? I'm going to just leave it like that because I honestly think that looks pretty cool. I might come back to it and change it if, it, if the other ear looks a little bit different. And I'm not going to change the left ear. I'm just going to change the right ear. Just because I think if I can bend it. And... Now I'm going to finish it off. So, to finish this off, I kind of have to move really fast. I'm going to heat up my pliers so I can go back and heat up the end of the piece of the rod and make the tail. Um. Remember that temperature is a big part in lamp work. Hot and cold do not mix, but hot and hot mix, and cold and cold mix, I guess. I guess I'm trying to say, like, uh, let's say your rod is really cold, it won't, it will actually explode. I'll actually make another video on it if you guys really want to. Whoops. And a light bell, which is no problem because I can grab this with this. Well, grab my pliers with my. Well, get my pliers and grab. And then get my glass rod. And clean up this. And I can reconnect. I'm just going to add that. And then I'm going to let that cool just for a little. And you have this glass rod where I'm going to reuse it.
Now, I know you're not going to be able to see this, but I'm going to do basically the same thing with the graphite pad, and I'm going to just smooch it down. And he's done. So, I'll show you. Now, um, I know you can't really see a really that good of a picture of him, but, um, I'll be putting a picture of him on my Facebook page, and you guys can check it out. So, I hope you enjoy, and I also want to uh, just put this out here there again that my goal is 100,000 subscribers to win the YouTube Play Function reward. And I know that sounds really unrealistic, but I'm going to go for it. So, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back tomorrow, and I'm going to show you how to make a glass snail. So, have a good day.